Pace, dragii mei! Astăzi îl avem ca invitat pe pastorul Bisericii Internaționale, Patrick Batman. Este păstor de mai bine de 20 de ani și astăzi ne va aduce câteva cuvinte de încurajare pentru sufletele noastre. Are o inimă mare pentru Dumnezeu și dânsul ne va aduce un cuvânt de încurajare pentru sufletele noastre. L-am cunoscut, am fost la Biserica Dânsului, are o biserică frumoasă, oameni care se închină lui Dumnezeu, oameni care îl caută pe Dumnezeu și oameni care au o inimă dăruită lui Dumnezeu. Mai mult decât atât, am fost și cu Dânsul prin România. A slujit cu noi la câteva biserici prin Târgu Jiu și în București. Aș vrea să primim acest gând ca din partea lui Dumnezeu pentru sufletele noastre. Patrick, please. Today, I'd like to talk about the number one question that people are asking. But before I uh, talk about that, I first would like to share something humorous. God said to Adam, um, it's not good that you should live alone. Um, I'd like to make the most gorgeous creature you can imagine. And uh, not only will she be absolutely beautiful, stunningly beautiful, but she'll also um, sew your buttons on for you, she'll do cooking for you, she'll do the ironing for you, she'll wash up for you, she'll even laugh at your jokes. Uh, would you like such a person? Oh, Adam said, oh, yes, please, but it sounds a bit expensive. I bet it will cost me an arm and a leg. Well, God said, what do you say? Adam thought for a moment and said, what will I get for a spare rib? Well, to my question, what is the number one question today? What people are asking is, if God is love and all-powerful, why is there so much suffering in the world today? Why doesn't God stop it? But before I answer that question, I want to uh, talk about a couple of other things. I'm sure um, you'll have observed parents, for example, who will ask their children questions which they already know the answers to. Then, God called out once to Adam, where are you? Well, the reason he called out this question was because, God, because Adam was actually hiding from God because Adam had actually offended God, he'd disobeyed God, he'd rebelled against God, and he'd hidden. And that's what we all tend to do. When we do something wrong, we tend to hide. So if somebody does something wrong against you, and you see them walking down the street towards you, directly they see you, they'll tend to cross over the other side of the road rather than stop and speak to you. And this is what Adam did. He hid himself. And so God called out, where are you? Not because he didn't know where he was, but because he wanted to give Adam the opportunity of owning up to what he'd done wrong. And that's how we are. But the other thing you'll notice is that when things go wrong, we're forever blaming other people. Husbands blame their wives. Wives blame their husbands. Bosses blame their employees, employees blame their bosses, and it was the same with Adam. When God said, where are you? Adam immediately blamed his wife Eve and said, I did wrong because of the woman you gave me. She caused me to eat of the forbidden fruit. And not only that, but he also then went on to blame God. He said, It was a woman you gave me. So he didn't only blame his wife, he also blamed God for having done wrong. And today, that's what people do, is they look round to see who they can blame. If they can't think of who to blame, then they blame God for what's gone wrong in the world. But think about it. We've all done things which are wrong. Perhaps we've stolen a paper clip or a pencil from our employer. Maybe we've told a lie in order to escape Um, punishment for some reason or other, or we've had a bad thought. As, you know, I can list a whole list of things which, if you really think about it, you've done wrong in your life. So we're all actually guilty of doing wrong things. But let's just come back to this question, is God love? Well, many of Christians around the world will tell you God is definitely a God of love. And the Bible says God is love. And I can tell you God is love. And not only that, God is also all-powerful. He could stop all the trouble in the world today, right at this very moment. But realize, if he was to do that, what would happen to you? Because if, if he's going to stop all wrongdoing, 
is going to stop you also and take away your freedom to do wrong. So think about it. Do you really want God to stop? Now this question is, is God love? Well, God has demonstrated that he's love in many, many ways. One way he's demonstrated is because of he's also a holy and a righteous God. And holiness and righteousness and justice requires that justice is done, which means that if we do wrong things, they have to be punished. Now, who wants to be punished? I don't know anybody who likes to be punished. And Jesus Christ took our punishment upon himself when he, when, when he was whipped, scourged by the Roman soldiers. His back was ripped open with those whips. He, all our sins, all our wrongdoing, all our evil thoughts were all piled upon him. He bore them for us. And just the same way as he bore our punishment, if we'll accept that he in fact died in, and bore our punishment, then his righteousness can be imputed to us. So as far as God's concerned, if I've accepted Jesus Christ's punishment, then Jesus Christ's righteousness is imputed to me, and so God sees Patrick as being righteous in his sight, and so I do not have to bear the punishment. But a second way that he shows his love towards us is the fact that he could stop all the evil in the world right this very moment if he wanted, by wiping us all out. But no, he's patient and suffering and long-bearing, and he gives us opportunity to repent of the things we do wrong so that we can in fact live an eternal life in the presence of God, the Creator. And so that's just two ways whereby God demonstrates his love to us. One, by sending his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, into the world to bear our punishment, the wages of our sin, and secondly, by being patient and letting us carry on living instead of just wiping us out to give us an opportunity of being sorry for what we've done wrong and accepting the gift of eternal life that God offers us in Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, Patrick. God bless you. Thank you. And blessing. Preibitilor, nu uitați că Domnul Dumnezeul nostru stă sus pe tron și face tot ce vrea. Și tot ce face El este desăvârșit. Ne vedem cu ajutorul Domnului data viitoare.